Hey, good evening guys. Let's do a recap of the day. So far so good for the year. Trucking along slowly but surely. Uh, thank you for watching the videos. Hopefully you guys are learning something. Any questions, feel free to give me a shout at Twitter or StockTwits at WatchlistStock or send me, an, send me an email at swatchlist at gmail.com. So let's see what's going on during the trading day. Two names are traded for so far. Uh, for the day, one of them was GPN, and the next is ETRM. Um, so GPN, I trade 150, lost 70 bucks. ETRM made about 122 bucks, right? Um, so let's see, what's the thought process? Once again, what's the process? That's what is required. It doesn't matter the profit, it's the thought process. Um, so first trade was on GPN. Um, came up on one of my scanners. One thing that is to notice is this came right on the gap over here, right? So it gapped up and had a go. Uh, on the intraday standpoint, it had it was the first, second, third, fourth, fifth day up, right? Uh, something which honestly I didn't really notice it uh, until I'm noticing it after the trade, before the after the fact. Um, so what the stock was, all that I saw was this stock was gapping up. It was gapping up into a no man's land and I was hoping for some kind of continuation. So two things to notice. Number one, it's been up five days and the average true range of the, on the stock is about 1.39, right? Uh, maybe on the day it has some volume in it, like some gapping, it might trade two times of it. Uh, so 1.39 is a dollar 39 cents on some volume day. Might trade about 270, it might two times is ATR, right? So maybe two times, um, Two dollars seventy-eight cents or something. Uh, you can see this one. This one, the low one is sixty-four, sixty-three. High of sixty-nine. So about four or five ATRs on this one after the three days gap down. Um, so that's something to keep note of. Now intraday, what I watched on this stock was. Let's pull the five-minute chart. Taking some time to load up. Okay. Um, so after the first move, this is when I actually started watching it. After the first move, it came on my radars, um, on my screeners. Now I was watching for this. I didn't play this trade. I mean, the best scenario would be to play this 79.50 and play through 80.50, but this is not what I traded. I got in, got involved somewhere over here in this stock. Uh, this range because my thought process was if this was to start to hold 80 and then maybe it can move make a second move if the stock is really going to trend then that should be the move but didn't really happen it actually failed bottom uh, this one went down um, to this price of 79.88 whatever so this is the price when I actually got stopped out uh, ETRM an interesting name Traded it on Friday, was watching it today as well, and actually came on one of my scanners too. Um, so let's look at the daily chart, right? See, have a daily perspective of what, where things are and where things can really go. Um, so this stock has gone from $2 to $18 in three days. So this is kind of a parabolic move. So if you're going to trade long, you have to be really, really careful because you don't know when that snapback might happen. And the snapback happens, it's going to be pretty bad. Trust me. Um, so a couple of trades I could have taken, uh, which I didn't take, was firstly through this break. I traded this range. Um, So I started got involved around 1030 region, then got involved around again 1046, and then again 217. So three trades on it. Let's review. Uh, the first trade on it was in this region, right? Uh, just when I saw this was starting to break higher, I got involved. Now one mistake I did was actually took profits pretty fast on it. The reason being is this stock was up on the third candle. My belief always is if the stock is going to be up the third candle, Chance of it reversing hard is pretty pretty high. Um, could be wrong, but you know what? It is what it is. So I got out pretty fast on it. 
uh, the next trade I traded was on the $17 break right uh, traded the 17 that was a quick trade as well uh, I did make one end of the day trade got involved on it pretty late uh, let's see. changes so I got involved on it somewhere around 1880 right? somewhere 18 7, 19, 80. so not the best of the trade but um, Again, it was in the third bar up, and just of getting reverses pretty high. So it popped up, didn't really take the profits, but then you can see a big flush down. It could have happened over here, but it happened over here. So even though I missed an opportunity over here from 15 bucks to 18, but I did manage to protect myself as well from the flush from 18 to 17, right? So just trade your own process. I mean, sometimes I might take early profits, which has been the case for the past week. Uh, there is going to be a couple of trades when you might actually be able to let it run. It might set up actually perfectly. In this case, it didn't really do it because the third bar breaking up. But uh, it is what it is. Straight by a process, keep it low. The other thing is, if you take a look at my tra trading, right, for the past uh, four or five days I've traded, even though the profits might not that big, right? Profits might be 50 bucks, 60 bucks, loss of 50 or 60 bucks. The good thing is I'm comfortable with the risk, right? I'm comfortable with risking $100. If I lose $100, it's, it's no big deal. I won't want to sit down in the corner and start crying, right? I'm not going to have nightmares about where is the next $100 going to come from. So I'm trading with the dollar level, which is comfortable with to me, right? That's the most important part. Uh, the second key is... In terms of making 1% on your account every day, trade my trading account is only $4,000, right? 10% on that is $400, and 1% is 40 bucks. If I can make 1% of my trading account every day in 250 trading days, that's 250%. So on $4,000, that's about $10,000 a year, right? So did I have to take a lot of risk? Maybe, maybe not. But if I can consist consistently make that 1% on my account every day, uh, sometimes from the previous vlogs you have seen that I could, I've actually made $300 on one day. So you will have those runners. I mean, today this could have been the runner, but I had a loss in the beginning, so that kind of threw me off. But then, just has been consistent with the process, right? Like, for example, if I see three candles up, just as I want to take profits quickly. Because something like this can happen, right? Who knows? So playing defense first, and as long as you play good defense, offense is going to take care of itself, but then you got to play proper offense as well. Because if you take keep on taking small gains, if you take one big loss, you might be in trouble. Um, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching the, the video. Uh, give me a subscribe on YouTube, and give a like to the video. Any questions, hit me up. Adios.